Can't you tell me what it's like for you? Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to go into tips and uh, raising on the Amstaff for the pit bull. Now I'm doing this video because there's been a lot of you who have sent me emails online asking me all different questions about how I got Cooper to do different things and uh, just general questions about the Amstaff for the pit bull dog. So what I'm going to do today is I've rounded up all those frequently asked questions and I'm going to address it in this uh, special video made just for you guys so I hope you enjoy it. Okay so what I'll do is I'll show you a couple of clips here now of when uh, Coop was just a little pup and uh, while you're watching that I'm going to talk a little bit about a few dot points of what you need to know about when you first bring your Amstaff home as a pup. So when Cooper came home at eight weeks of age he um, you know relied wholly and solely on me for um, you know security for his food bedding and everything like that so you need to understand that it's a big responsibility when you bring your Amstaff pup home for the first time so as for bedding I made sure I had a nice soft bed for him but you don't want to have anything that uh, can be chewed up as you can see here in this clip he uh, chewed up a really nice soft bed that I had for him so I had to make sure I got one there with a decent cover on it so that uh, they can't chew through it because puppies being puppies regardless of the breed absolutely love to chew and especially the Amstaff chew toys are a must make sure you got some nice uh, toys um, if you remember from my first video about the um, uh, tire biter uh, that actual tyre that's made specifically for dogs to chew on I had that for him ever since he was a pup, since day one and uh, that's why he absolutely loves a toy now just to isolate the dog um, from areas of the house that you don't want to um, have have him in is the um, baby gates, they're the best thing that I invested in when I first brought him home so you can just easily put them up temporarily and it can just um, stop the dog from wandering into areas or onto carpet and um, ultimately uh, peeing or pooing on the carpet so you can really isolate them from there so that's a really good tip. Um, as for uh, toilet training and things like that uh, I just utilize some dog pads now these are kind of like nappies I guess for dogs in the sense of they just um, go down on the floor and um, if they pee or poo then you can just wrap them up and put it in the toilet from there so um, they're very handy um, one thing I did teach Cooper was um, every time that he did a pee um, I just used uh, I suppose repetition uh, with my voice so if he was having a pee I'd say to him go have a pee have a pee I'd say those those words all the time and then now that he's got older um, I can actually uh, take him downstairs or something like that and I can say go have a pee and he'll know exactly what I want him to do and he'll go and do it when you actually transition the uh, dog outside um, I didn't do that until about probably about uh, 14 to 16 weeks of age with Cooper the only reason being is because he was um, you know uh, such a small pup I didn't want him climbing um, through the fence or under the fence or anything like that or even actually being stolen or taken so um, I waited until he was a little bit older before I transitioned him um, to the outside of the house once I did that though, um, what I made sure I'd done beforehand was actually concrete underneath the fence line. So the immediate fence line around the house on my property, I made sure that I dug down a, a few inches, go down about um, six to eight inches, just dig down the shovel and uh, clear out a line all the way along the fence line and then you can just fill it up with concrete. Well I hope you enjoyed those puppy clips that certainly brought back some memories for me. What I'll go into now is just some basic training commands. So Coop's here sitting on his bed. One of the first things that I ever did with him, even as a little pup, is when I ushered him into his bed, I always said the words, in your bed, in your bed. 
And then after a while, the dog just picks it up and then they naturally do that. They associate the action with the command, with the words. So all you need to do, Cooper, come. Come. Good boy. You can always start off with some treats. I've just got some uh, schmackos here. And you just tear off little pieces like that and use them as a reward. So all you need to do is you need to just say the words in your bed. As I say, just usher the dog to the bed and make sure you give them positive reinforcement when they do what you ask them. So in this case, I mean, Cooper will go straight to his bed anyway, but this is how you can get your dog to do this once you train them to do it. Ready? In your bed. Cooper, in your bed. Good boy. Now you just give them a treat and give them that positive reinforcement. Hey, good boy. Okay, so what I'll go into now is just the basic sit command. Most dogs know how to do this, but there's an easy way to get them to do it fairly quickly. All you need to do is just with a treat, just pull it off. And when the dog is actually standing and you want them to sit, just put the treat in front of their nose, but raise it up in the air so their head tilts backwards. And then you'll find they'll actually sit down. Cooper, come. There, I did that without um, the command of sit because I wanted to show you the action there. You could see there he started to tilt his head back and then he just sat down naturally. If you've got a dog that doesn't do that, just gently guide them. Just push their backside down, just gently as you're telling them the command sit. Cooper, up, 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 sit. Good boy. It's as simple as that. Okay, while he's in the seated position here, I'm going to go on to the drop command. Now this is really easy to do from that seated position with dogs. All you need to do is just take the treat and you just place it on the ground in front of them and you'll find they'll naturally drop down. So what you need to do is just repeat, uh, repeat that command drop when you're actually doing it and they'll do it straight away. Drop, drop, good boy, good boy. So that's all you need to do. It's very simple and as I say it's just repetition. Now to go on to the next command which is the roll over command. That's very easy to do from this position here. All you need to do is just hold on to the dog and just gently guide them and you can say the words roll over, roll over and they'll just go straight over. Once again make sure you give them a reward. Good boy. Okay so the next command I'll show you is the shake hands command. Now that's really easy to do. All you got to do is just crouch down in front of the dog and then just put your hand out and just grab onto one of their paws and say the words shake hands shake hands and then they'll after time and repetition they'll immediately associate that action with the command so as you can see all I need to do here I crouch down in front of him I put my hand out he just puts his paw straight up on my hand there so he's um he knows what's coming so that's what you'll get your dog to you'll get them to that level within no time at all Good boy. Shake hands, shake hands. Just like so. Okay, the next command I'll go into is a spin round command. To get the dog to do this, first of all, you just repeat the words, obviously, but then physically guide them. Come here, Cooper, come. Spin round, spin round, spin round, just like so. Good boy. Okay, if they don't do it, you can just guide their backside around as well. It's fairly simple to do. Good, spin round, spin round, spin round. No, come, come, spin round. Good boy. It's as simple as that. Okay, the next command I'll go into is the bang bang command where you actually pretend like you've got a pistol in your hand and the dog will roll over and play dead. Now it's fairly easy to do because all you need to do is just guide them physically when you're teaching them this. So in order for that to, to happen, all you do is you say the words and they'll go down. But I mean, obviously when I say the words to Cooper, he's just going to do it straight away. Cooper, bang bang. It was a very slow uh, death, that one. <laughs> Good boy. Sometimes he'll do it a lot faster, but uh, other times he takes his time with it. Up, up, come on, up. So all you need to do is, if you're first practicing this with the dog, is go bang, bang, and then guide them down, and then just hold them like so, and just give them the reassurance, good boy, good boy, and give them their treat. It's as easy as that. It's really simple to do. So obviously, 
you know, don't hammer it into the dog day in, day out, because the dog will get very annoyed with doing the tricks all the time. Like he's getting a little bit impatient now. Um, and it's only because of the repetition with it. Um, you just do it like just five minutes a day, that's all that's needed, and the dog will pick that up very easily. Okay, so I'll talk about food for your uh, AMP staff. Now, there's a lot of treats around on the market. I like to get uh, pig's ears because uh, Cooper enjoys chewing them and they keep him occupied for several minutes. So uh, with these, there's two types. There's actual fake ones, but then there's real ones, the natural ones. So obviously I like to get the natural ones. Also here, the box you'll see uh, from Pedigree, it's the uh, denture stick. So they're really good for their teeth and their gums, and Cooper absolutely loves these. I give them to him every day, just to give his gums and his teeth just a nice, healthy look. Last of all, as uh, you've seen what I do the tricks with, uh, I just get the uh, schmackos. Now they come in either beef or liver or chicken, so you can get uh, whichever one your dog prefers, and you can just rip them up into little bits there and use them as treats for your dog. So they're really handy to get, so uh, keep an eye out for them in uh, your local pet food shop. Okay, as for dry food, I like to give Cooper uh, something quality like um, science diet, just something high end like that because you want good quality dry food that's going to ensure that they get the best nutrients that they need to grow into an adult dog. Please don't uh, skimp on the real no name brand dry food that you can get from your supermarket or something like that. It's just not going to have the quality and just doesn't have the nutrients they need. Okay, so let's have a look at different play toys for your Amstaff. Now this here is the tire biter, as you all know, you've seen this from the first video. Cooper absolutely loves it, this is his second one that he's on, he's <laughs> absolutely demolished it. Loves chewing on it every day. Now, as I mentioned uh, in the first video, you want to make sure that you get a correct tire from an actual pet shop. Because if you don't, you can't go getting them normal car tires because they've got steel in them and other products in them that can hurt their teeth or injure the dog. So you don't want them swallowing that either. Where well, this here is completely safe for your dog. Another really good thing is a, what's called a Kong, K-O-N-G. Now this Kong here, it's hollow in, in the middle there. Now what it is, it's just rubberized so you can just squeeze it so they can chew on it and it massages their gums, their teeth. But you can actually get uh, dog peanut butter. Now listen again to what I just said, dog peanut butter. Definitely not peanut butter for human consumption because you can't give that to dogs. It's actually uh, dangerous for them. So you can get that, you can put that on the inside of the Kong, the outside there, and you can also put little biscuits and treats and things like that in the Kong. So what will happen is the dog, especially a pup, will play with that through the day, and then the treats and so forth will actually come out the side there, just bit by bit, so it keeps them entertained there for hours. This here is just a uh, plastic bone that I got from a pet shop. As you can see, there's a lot of um, ribs on it there, just to massage the dog's gums and teeth. So he's had that for a long, long time and still not through it. It's taken him ages to get through it, but he loves just sitting and chewing it just uh, to keep himself amused. Then when you buy some uh, play balls for the, the dog, just make sure, especially the Amstaff, because they're so strong in the jaws, you get them rubberized ones, okay? Because if you get them normal tennis balls, honestly, within about three or four bites, the tennis ball will be useless because they'll split it. So you need to get good rubberized ones like this. So Coop's coming over to me now from the dam because he can see that I've got his toys and <laughs> he wants to play. Hey, which one do you want? Entire? Yep, of course, and it's his favourite, he absolutely loves it. So yeah guys, just overall, just make sure you get just good quality toys um, for your AM staff because you don't want bad quality ones that can injure the dog. Alright guys, so that's a summary of just different tips that I hope you find useful. Just remember, these dogs are just great dogs, they're fantastic dogs actually. And I very much love the AM staffs and the pit bulls, they're just a fantastic dog overall. You hear a lot of negativity in the media about them, but like everything, take that with a grain of salt. Have a look at when responsible people have these dogs, they're just like Cooper. They're just a loving part of the family, just an excellent dog. 
And honestly, if you haven't had the love of a pit bull or an AM staff in your life, I highly recommend you go and do that. But just make sure you've got the right yard and, and you can afford the time to put into these dogs because what you put into them, they'll give you back twofold. They really are just fantastic dogs and I love them very much. So I hope you found it useful. If you've got any more questions, guys, just shoot me an email, comment online. Please give me the thumbs up on this video and any other recommendations, let me know. So till next time, take care of each other and get out there and enjoy this wonderful dog.